chapter 32. And when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down out of the mount, the people gathered themselves together unto Aaron, and said unto him, Up, make us gods which shall go before us. For as for this Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we wot not what is become of him. And Aaron said unto them, Break off the golden earrings which are in the ears of your wives, of your sons, and of your daughters, and bring them unto me. And all the people brake off the golden earrings which were in their ears, and brought them unto Aaron. And he received them at their hand, and fashioned it with a graving tool, after he had made it a molten calf. And they said, These be thy gods, O Israel, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. And when Aaron saw it, he built an altar before it. And Aaron made proclamation, and said, Tomorrow is a feast to the Lord. And they rose up early on the morrow, and offered burnt offerings, and brought peace offerings. And the people sat down to eat and to drink, and rose up to play. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go, get thee down, for thy people which thou broughtest out of the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them. They have made them a molten calf, and have worshipped it, and have sacrificed thereunto, and said, These be thy gods, O Israel, which have brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. And the Lord said unto Moses, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Now therefore let me alone, that my wrath may wax hot against them, and that I may consume them, and I will make of thee a great nation. And Moses besought the Lord his God, and said, Lord, why doth thy wrath wax hot against thy people, which thou hast brought forth out of the land of Egypt with great power and with a mighty hand? Wherefore should the Egyptians speak and say, For mischief did he bring them out, to slay them in the mountains, and to consume them from the face of the earth? Turn from thy fierce wrath, and repent of this evil against thy people. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, thy servants, to whom thou swearest by thine own self, and saidst unto them, I will multiply your seed as the stars of heaven, and all this land that I have spoken of will I give unto your seed, and they shall inherit it forever. And the Lord repented of the evil which he thought to do unto his people. And Moses turned, and went down from the mount, and the two tables of the testimony were in his hand. The tables were written on both their sides, on the one side and on the other were they written. And the tables were the work of God, and the writing was the writing of God, graven upon the tables. And when Joshua heard the noise of the people as they shouted, he said unto Moses, There is a noise of war in the camp. And he said, it is not the voice of them that shout for mastery, neither is it the voice of them that cry for being overcome, but the noise of them that sing do I hear. And it came to pass, as soon as he came nigh unto the camp, that he saw the calf and the dancing. And Moses' anger waxed hot, and he cast the tables out of his hands, and brake them beneath the mount. And he took the calf which they had made, and burnt it in the fire, and ground it to powder, and strawed it upon the water, and made the children of Israel drink of it. And Moses said unto Aaron, What did this people unto thee, that thou hast brought so great a sin upon them? And Aaron said, Let not the anger of my Lord wax hot. Thou knowest the people that they are set on mischief. For they said unto me, Make us gods which shall go before us. For as for this Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we wot not what is become of him. And I said unto them, Whosoever hath any gold, let them break it off. So they gave it me. Then I cast it into the fire, and there came out this calf, and when Moses saw that the people were naked, for Aaron had made them naked unto their shame among their enemies, then Moses stood in the gate of the camp and said, Who is on the Lord's side? Let him come unto me. And all the sons of Levi gathered themselves together unto him. And he said unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Put every man his sword by his side, and go in and out from gate to gate throughout the camp, and slay every man his brother, and every man his companion, and every man his neighbor. And the children of Levi did according to the word of Moses, and there fell of the people that day about three thousand men. For Moses had said, Consecrate yourselves today to the Lord, even every man upon his son and upon his brother, that he may bestow upon you a blessing this day. And it came to pass on the morrow that Moses said unto the people, Ye have sinned a great sin, and now I will go up unto the Lord. Per adventure I shall make an atonement for your sin. And Moses returned unto the Lord and said, 
Oh, this people have sinned a great sin, and have made them gods of gold. Yet now, if thou wilt, forgive their sin. And if not, blot me, I pray thee, out of thy book which thou hast written. And the Lord said unto Moses, Whosoever hath sinned against me, him will I blot out of my book. Therefore now go, lead the people unto the place of which I have spoken unto thee. Behold, mine angel shall go before thee. Nevertheless, in the day when I visit, I will visit their sin upon them. And the Lord plagued the people, because they made the calf which Aaron made. Chapter 6 Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. And ye, fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Servants, be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, in singleness of your heart, as unto Christ, not with eye service, as men-pleasers, but as the servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, with good will doing service as to the Lord, and not to men, knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doeth, the same shall he receive of the Lord, whether he be bond or free. And ye masters do the same things unto them, forbearing threatening, knowing that your master also is in heaven, neither is their respective persons with him. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak but that ye also may know my affairs and how I do, Tychicus, a beloved brother and faithful minister in the Lord, shall make known to you all things, whom I have sent unto you for the same purpose, that ye might know our affairs, and that he might comfort your hearts. Peace be to the brethren, and love with faith, from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all them that love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. Amen. The end of the epistle of Paul the Apostle to the Ephesians. Heavenly Father, we say in the words of Scripture, New every morning, great is thy faithfulness. Father, we are so blessed to have a God like you, a God who is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and of great kindness, one who keeps mercy unto thousands and forgives iniquity and transgression and sin. We glorify your worthy name, and we praise you, Lord, from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you, dear Lord, for the presence of your Holy Spirit. You said you will send another comforter to be with us, to walk with us through our Christian journey. Throughout our Christian journey, Lord, and we are grateful for his presence with us through all the changing scenes of life. And today we come asking that you will once again cast all our sins into the depths of the sea and remember them no more. Thank you, dear Lord, for the lessons found in our passage for today. Help us, dear Lord, to be strong spiritual leaders. 
and not buckle to the clamor to compromise the principles of heaven. Help us, dear Lord. All those of us who are spiritual leaders, we sit on the church board, we help to lead the church or run the church as we say, or we might be just parents at home, spiritual leaders of families. Help us, dear Lord, to be strong spiritual leaders and not buckle to the clamor to compromise the principles of heaven. For you reminded us that when Moses went up into the mount and he tarried there with you, the people said to Aaron in Exodus chapter 32 and verse 1, the Bible says the people gathered themselves together unto Aaron and said unto him, Up, up, make us gods which shall go before us. That's how they were talking to the leader. Up, make us gods. And the Bible says instead of standing up, Aaron gave in to their unprincipled, unrighteous, unchristian demands and made them a golden calf. Oversee the process and made a golden calf. And so, Lord, help us to be strong and to heed the counsel of 1 Corinthians chapter 16 and verse 13, which says, Watch ye, stand fast in the faith, quit you like men, be strong. Watch ye, stand fast in the faith, quit you like men, be strong. Give us, Lord, strength of will and a purposeful heart like Daniel to stand for what is right, to stand for what is principled, to stand for what is righteous in the cause of Christ. Help us, dear Lord, number two, as fellow believers, help us to be careful not to follow weak spiritual leaders to go against the commandments of God. Help us, dear God, as fellow believers in the body of Christ, not to follow weak spiritual leaders to go against the commandments of God. The Bible says in Exodus chapter 32 and verse 5, And when Aaron saw it, he built an altar before it, that is the golden calf. And Aaron now made proclamation and said, Tomorrow is a feast to the Lord. In other words, tomorrow we can have a feast. They have the golden calf there. God will not be with them. They have broken their commandment the second commandment, and now the leader is calling them to a feast, a celebration around this golden calf. Father, help us, dear Lord, not to follow leaders to break the commandments of God, whether it be using the tithe to build a church or playing raucous, worldly music at the church function or whatever. Help us to stand for them. Lord, we remember that sickening incident in 1 Samuel chapter 22, verses 7 to 18. Lord, we remember when King Saul commanded his servants to kill the priests of the Lord. The servants refused to do so. They would not kill the priests of the Lord because the priests gave David some bread when he was hungry, some shoe bread, old shoe bread. And uh, King Saul saw this as aiding his enemy. He made David his enemy. So the servant says no. He had commanded the servants to kill the priest. The, the servant said no. And then he turned to Doeg. And Doeg killed that day 85 priests of the Lord. He followed King Saul in committing murder. Help us, dear Lord, not to follow weak spiritual leaders, to sin against you, to go against the principles of your church and of your word. But help us to stand firm and individually stand for the right. Help us to remember, dear Lord, that you are the God who sees. The God who sees, because Moses was on the mountain there, he did not know what was going on, but you told him in Exodus 32 verse 7 and verse 8, Get thee down, for the people which thou broughtest out of the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. And Father, you even saw clearly what they did. Verse 8 says, They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them, they have made them a golden calf and have worshipped it and, and have sacrificed thereunto and have said, These be thy gods, O Israel, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. God saw what they were doing. He heard what they were saying. Father, we are glad that you can see us when we are going through tough times. You can see us and you can help us and you can assist us. Like how you assisted Hagar in Genesis chapter 16 verse 11 and verse 13. She was running because Sarah, her mistress, treated her badly. 
And you saw her and comforted her, and you said, Behold, thou art with child, Hagar, and shall bear a son, and shall call his name Ishmael, because the Lord had heard thy affliction. And the Bible says in Genesis 16, 13, Lord, And she called the name of the Lord that spake unto her, Thou God seest me. For she said, Have I also here looked upon him that seeth me? And God saw her and came to her rescue. Thank you, dear Lord, for the many times when others did not see what we were going through, but you saw, and you came to our aid, you came to our rescue. You sent people to comfort us, to encourage us, and you helped us, and we are, are so grateful that we serve a God who sees us. But Lord, help us to fear, to sin, and to do evil, knowing that you are watching us. You said in Jeremiah chapter 23, and verse 24, Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him? saith the Lord, doth not I fill heaven and earth? saith the Lord. And Father, we pray for all those who are committing crime, who are hiding and planning and, and killing and robbing and hiding. And perhaps they are high officials who are condoning and facilitating crime and wickedness. And they think no one is watching. Lord, Remind them clearly that there is a God who sees, and one of these days they will be called to give an account for their actions. Father, be with us today. Remember those who have asked us to pray with and for them. Those who have sent in prayer requests, we place all of them before you. And we ask, Lord, in your way and in your time, you will take care of each one of them so clearly that we will be led to say this must be of the Lord and help us to give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. Take us through this day with your presence in Jesus' name. Amen and Amen.